So Richard, I think the best place to start is, have you done that letter yet? Yes, I've done that fucking letter. <laughs> Just, yeah. Oh. It's been around five, I think you mentioned. Five times a day. I'm trying to collect time to mention that letter. <laughs> You've done it, yeah? Yeah, I've done it. And he was happy with the draft, yeah? No, <laughs> he wasn't happy with the draft at all. Too long, who won't understand. Alright, so you just had to delete some stuff, yeah? Yeah, and then add some of the stuff in. <laughs> and basically rewrite the entire thing, so it was six lines long. Alright, oh, yeah, okay. And that didn't take long, did it? No, it just took an hour. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> it's just, just, yeah. But we're getting 100 euros from that, yeah? Oh, well, no, he's, he's going to keep it as a deposit on our next trip to Iran. <laughs> <laughs> I just should have written the letter earlier, you just don't shut the fuck up. Yep. Heard <laughs> it to Diego. How was, how, was he, how was your driving experience today, Richard? My driving <laughs> experience was, it was, it was, to be honest, it was the most What's the word? I can think of the word. <laughs> you can think of a different word than me. My driving experience was probably the most sort of relaxing experience I've ever had. I mean, from when I s got in the car, it was then all beautiful tarmac downhill, and then we finally got into the town, and suddenly it opened out into a boulevard of six lanes that had been newly tarmac. There wasn't a bump in sight, and this continued for maybe. There wasn't 20 a car in sight either. Yeah, there wasn't a car in sight either. Twenty or thirty kilometers, um, you know, and then it, the world wide six lanes on either side. Well, you've seen nothing like it. Twelve lanes, in the middle of a desert. Um, and then we continued round into Borjnoud, and then, uh, again newly tarmacked, brand new, no cars in sight at all, you know, and then pulled into. The hotel and no no bother at all whatsoever. I mean, we were pretty much coast the last sort of hundred kilometers. So yeah, it's brilliant. What was your driving experience like, Richard? You're an asshole. <laughs> Mine was fantastically amazing as well. <laughs> Uphill all the way, <laughs> windy roads. Couldn't overtake. Every time I tried to turn left, you were in the way. Well, I can't help that. I'm just leaning forward to get something. You'd be asleep and then you'd wake up and lean forward at the time that I really needed to look in the wing mirror. I had some hectic roundabouts to go through that I had to force my car through. I kept going through villages. No motorway for me. <laughs> <laughs> had to pull an illegal U turn again. It doesn't matter which way we are. <laughs> it doesn't matter which way we change this. Every time we try and change the driving order so that you get better roads, it just ends up with me getting better roads. I've had a beautiful time so far. I, I, I'm loving this driving business. I might let you. Oh. Is this I might let you drive to Turkmenistan because then it'll be a good road and we'll get there on time. Because <laughs> <laughs> if I drive, it'll just be a hill climb. <laughs> it'll just be a hill climb. <laughs> on gravel. <laughs> on gravel. <laughs> with the with, with, with Tehran traffic. <laughs> Oh god. Should we just run through all of the driving things? That we, from the start, when we were tr <laughs> trying to get from fucking Chichester to Dover, it took us on the M25 because I was driving. Yeah, yeah. Which is the longer way. I know, an hour and a, hour and a half longer. <laughs> and then what was it? The other side of the channel. The other side of the channel, then we drove to Chawa. Then you drove. Did I drive? Did I drive from Charlotte? Or did you drive for a bit and then we swapped just before Luxembourg? We swapped, well yeah, well, I drove from a wake up and woke up in Belgium and it was beautiful roads in the middle of the morning but there was no traffic so it was just, you know, the world's quickest drive then we switched before Luxembourg. Then I got to go into Luxembourg yes, you did. and go around the one-way system about eight again, times. Again and again <laughs> I'm sure there's parking here. Yeah. And found the park and then I got, us. did I drive out of Luxembourg? No, I drove out of Luxembourg. Straight out of the car park, straight out of the city. <laughs> and then we were good, yeah. And then um, we s swapped. No, we didn't, because I drove in the Heidelberg, didn't I? And I drove for a bit because of the rally cars we met. 
Yeah, you swapped somewhere. Yeah, we must have swapped somewhere. I, don't know, I think I drove from Luxembourg. Yes, I did drive from Luxembourg because the car was on the steep hill to go out, and I put oh, the handbrake yes. on, yeah. and then started rolling backwards. <laughs> so I drove all the way from Luxembourg to just outside Heidelberg, and then you took over. <laughs> and then you just drove around a deserted town. Yeah, into yeah the no cars anywhere. It's brilliant. I, mean, I loved it. And then the next day, you drove out from Heidelberg. Again, okay, early in the morning. Yeah. No cars anywhere to be seen. It's brilliant. And then you, did you drive to Prague? Oh, no, I know, I drove into Prague. You drove into Prague. Prague. You so you drove and then we swapped, and then I drove into Prague. <laughs> At the junction, uh, the, the we were there for ages. Hell, the junction from hell, where there was, there was cars coming from every direction, and it was all just static traffic, and we were stuck in a massive queue for 40 minutes. Yeah. And, and then we parked up, and then out of run that you started driving throughout the car park on the motorway. So Prague went to Bratislava. Mm -hmm. You drove, you drove into Bratislava. Bratislava, that was fine. That was lovely wide roads. Yeah. No cars. Drove into Bratislava, in, parked up to the up castle. Like two minutes, right at the castle. Place where we were going. You drove out of Bratislava, drove to Budapest. Same again. You just drove into Budapest, up the hill, straight to a car park. Yeah. Went around the castle. I got in the there. car from <laughs> I got in the car at Budapest. We drove down into a one way system round over some tram lines through the city of the suburbs and then finally out fucking Budapest. <laughs> then I drove us into Romania. You did? Once we got into Romania, I kept driving on the brilliant new, fantastic, that's my best oh, bit of driving, the new right. motorway, that then suddenly stopped. Yeah, it <laughs> took stopped, us off. Stopped just stopped us like, oh, yeah. we, we, we stopped building here 350 kilometers from Bucharest. Anywhere, from anywhere. So then I went on a detour through villages for 100 kilometers. Said I'm knackered <laughs> at nine in the morning. Yeah. Swapped with you. No, no, no. We we finally swapped at that at that service, isn't it? As we swapped this broken, oh, you don't want to go to this road. This road, crap. You want to go fifty kilometers that way and turn right. Top gear road. Top gear road. And I got and you were asleep and you woke up halfway over the Transfigurian Highway. I was like, this is meant this driving through all this beautiful scenery, right through mountain passes. Like and you, you're a dick. I hate you so much. <laughs> it's when I knew. It's when we knew that. Then you drove to the Romanian border, yeah. where you got to find your, your indiscretions of being a twat. What? I took over just after the Romanian border and then drove on the potholes of Bulgaria all night. <laughs> well, I slept through it all. Yeah. Potholes, hill climbs, mountain rally tracks. Yeah, but Bulgaria doesn't have roads. It just <laughs> has a series of potholes into the big tarmac. <laughs> I was going into towns, I hit a speed bump at 50 because it didn't have any signs on it which loads of people must have done because it, it disintegrated Yeah And then I'd get out of that, go up and then town appear from nowhere with speed bumps again <laughs> Then we got 30 kilometres away from the Turkey border and we swapped and then it was a lovely fucking tarmac drive to the Turkey border Going to mm. Turkey You drove Deserted highways through the night. Yeah. Swapped just outside Istanbul for me to get the morning rush hour. Yeah. <laughs> Got the 26 kilometers outside of Istanbul and hit the traffic <laughs> that was queuing for Istanbul, and then just inched forward. With. Uh, I think I slept most of that. Yes, you did. <laughs> Whenever I'm driving, you're asleep. <laughs> I know. I can't help. Even fucking saying on a Sunday. We stop for lunch. And then you and Hussein get back in the car and have a nap while I drive for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> so we got into Turkey, got into Istanbul. Yeah, got Istanbul. Did I wander around. around. I wander around. I drove out of Istanbul, went to a service station, did the jerry can explosion. <laughs> <laughs> then you took over and fine highways. Yeah, fine highways. past Ankara. For thousands and thousands, <laughs> well, hundreds and hundreds of kilometres. And then past Ankara somewhere near, anywhere near, not the near the city. Uh, no, I don't know, in the city, can't remember it. We did set off the alarms at all the Turkish all things. Of the, but yeah, didn't get fine, but all of the alarms went off. <laughs> and then switched over to you, and I fell asleep, and I woke up <laughs> several hours later to... Uh, well, See, that's how long you have to sleep. You get seven hours sleep when I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> what <is> I do? <laughs> get like three hours and then wake up because it feels really smooth. It's like we stopped on oh, the road. Yeah. <laughs> 
where I just sleep through the world's roughest car ride. Nothing wakes me. And then, um, what happened when I woke up on the... Uh, I woke up with fantastic news. <laughs> fantastic news and Sam... Made, made brilliant time. Yeah. What's the great news? This is the cast meeting. <laughs> no, uh, Black, Black Sea. Sea. We've gone 500 kilometers in the wrong direction, but... 200 I mean, in the wrong. Sorry, 200 in the wrong direction. So, but I've done 50 kilometers along the coast, so... And it, it's a really good road. And then we switched, and it was a really good <laughs> road. <laughs> it wasn't to get the diver, the fucking 200 kilometers wrong way. It wasn't. It was a hill climb <laughs> through forests at night. <laughs> and then I got I got hundreds of kilometers along beautiful course, then up into the mountains. And you stopped at the perilous bridge. Yeah, at the perilous bridge. And we perilous. swapped, and then <laughs> I had to go a bit. And it was roadworks all through the hills. Yeah. <laughs> Tunnels being built, detours. That was actually pretty good going though, through the through those um, mountains. We got chased by dogs. Yeah. And then somewhere in Turkey in these mountain ranges we switched again. And as soon as we'd switched it was straight <laughs> onto the highway, smooth flat tarmac through the the central plains of Turkey, through to the Iranian border. And there's just nothing but beautiful, beautiful roads. Perfectly flat. Flying long. Then when our car finally got out of <laughs> Iranian customs, I was driving. I had to go up and down the hill twice, <laughs> just have a paper stand. Got out and then it's wacky races, Mario Kart, <laughs> sneaky speed bumps. Found out about them. Yeah. Then I drove us out halfway to Tabriz, swapped, and then you drove into Tabriz. Yep. Yeah. No dramas. I suppose traffic was in there. Yeah, I suppose traffic was in there. Yeah. I think it's just quite a bit late. I saw really that and thought, all right, there. this is heavy traffic. Stevens, you can drive in the morning. No cars on the road. <laughs> yeah, not one. Not one car. And then, then we, that day, we swapped. Drove out, we swapped, and then I get all the traffic appeared again. Yeah, it's around. You got all of the traffic going in. Hussein Tehran. was like, we need to get to Tehran before nightfall. <laughs> we don't know where we're going, it'll be horrendous. So we got to Tehran before nightfall. And then stopped on a bridge for an hour. When, as, as night fell. Yeah. <laughs> and then I got to go into Tehran. At night. At night. Which is interesting. 50-50 split as to whether people had their lights on the car. I know. We did, but not for the, uh, not for the need to sort of see anything, but sort of see anything. I actually quite enjoyed Tehran night, night at night because I was just Gary hit the gaps <laughs> <laughs> trying not to get Mario sideswiped. Kart. Yeah, it was, it was Mario Kart. Zoom, zoom. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got to drive out of Tehran in the morning. It didn't which take no time at all. Didn't take any time and you could see the cars. Yeah. And the gaps. Other than the fact that we went around the block probably twice because you can go right, go right here. Go right here. Go right here. If it's always right, it's just <laughs> going to go in a circle. Maybe it's like a cork and juice system out. I don't know, that's what it was. We just doing right turns, like going further and further out by a block until we found the highway. That was all we was doing. But you got out no problem. Yeah. Got uh, Gorgon, we were heading to. Yeah. Now you got out to run and start falling asleep, so I hit you. Yeah, and then switched. we swapped. And then you had like hill climbs. Hill climb. <laughs> <laughs> Not getting over forty. <laughs> and then we <laughs> did all that swaps. You go in the car and then it turns to the fucking motorway. <laughs> I know. Straight to Gorgon. Beautiful motorway all the way into Gorgon. <sighs> yeah. And then that brings us up to today, where I took us out of Gorgon into another hill pass and then you got fucking six lane boulevard to I've had a really good time so far to be honest I can't complain about any of it I hope the wheels fall off the car after Ulan Ud <laughs> watch as soon as I get to Russia they'll have built a new road <laughs> all the way to Moscow super highway yeah that'll be fine I'll just bomb along that road three hotels mm. Anything else you want to cover about around? The people, people are nice. We should be on, we, we got interviewed. 
or sitting in the car, so that'll be on some ISIS propaganda website. Oh God. Yeah, we saw the thing today. Uh, hello, we're from the local media. Mind we take ask questions? And then ask us those about yeah, we're probably gonna be on some some sort of a radio propaganda video. Do you like Iran? What do you think compared to what people tell you? Can just picture they say you're dangerous. Can just picture the faces with like Iran flags in the background and <laughs> And you do any I think you need to address this issue as well. You um you speak in the foreigner's voice. <laughs> Why oh dear. Every time you talk to someone foreign, yeah. I have to not try not to burst out laughing. Why? The way you pronounce things. <laughs> the way you speak. Meh. When you you say UK is that like, you okay? <laughs> I know. Because every time I say UK, they don't understand me. So I have to read but you do it to, you do it to Hussein as well, but Hussein's like university educated translator. But he doesn't actually understand me. He actually. understands me, fine. Yeah, well I have to repeat myself like five or six times to everybody. So I keep just <laughs> emphasizing. UK yeah, we are very <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe it's my accent. I don't think I have What else do you say? There's something else. Oh <laughs> when you say okay okay. <laughs> what, okay. You started doing it to me when you said things. You go, yeah. okay. 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 What, with the little uh, hand <laughs> okay. gestures? Yeah. You are, we're from you, okay. <laughs> okay. You know, it's better than your usual reaction, though, which is. <laughs> I don't understand. Inglesi? Uh, Inglesi? Inglesi? Inglesi. I just smile and go, Inglesi? I know. <laughs> That's your answer to everything. Like, you just like look confused, say Inglesi and shrug. Like, I don't know what he's saying. No, don't. <laughs> smile and nod. I very nearly spoke German to someone today. And then I realised I'm not in Germany. <laughs> someone asked us if we spoke Dutch, but I'm not Deutsch. sure if they meant. No, they meant Deutsch. Yeah. But she dissipated before we could say. We said yes, yeah, I declined a bit. And then she wandered off. That was yesterday, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can't think of anything else we need to cover. It's mainly been driving again today. All the free stuff we've got, we've got another watermelon. Oh, yeah, remember that? I love watermelon. Hello. Nathan, I would have hated it. loads of free things. Same also took us out to buy some peaches. Which Nathan <laughs> Peaches and watermelon. Why do people not give us chocolate? Chocolate. <laughs> I've also noticed that in this room it says Mecca is up. Yeah. Why is Mecca up towards the ceiling? I'm pretty sure that we're, the hotel's not on that much of an angle. Maybe we're in Mecca? We're on a pilgrimage route as well. There's loads of tourists. Yeah. So that, I think that was the biggest crowd we've had around the car today, considering we were surrounded and couldn't get out. And people have started writing over other people's things. Yeah. So happy. anyone that signed the car in England, sorry. <laughs> hmm. Anything else? No. Corporate yeah. sponsorships. Mm. No, no corporate sponsorships, sponsorships today, really. I mean, the car's still holding out, so thank you to Heavy, because it's not done. It goes through everyone without a single problem. Those are the ones we created. <laughs> out the window. And probably the tyres at this point. We oh, do we really need to do the tyres, fuck. We do really need to do the tyres. Though it does now only do 60 bucks a bit. We think that's the petrol. Or the benzene, sorry. I think the benzene is probably a bit of shit. It's the word for petrol, don't know, it's not benzene? Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Benzene. <sighs> we can start um, getting ready to speak to her saying about how much we're going to pay. <laughs> Please reach it.
Oh no, he's gonna do it to me, isn't he? Please, Nathan. Yeah. I want to win the money is for these bastards. Yeah. Richard has written a great letter. Right. We'll call it quits. Yeah. Goodbye. Thank you for not sponsoring us while we've been away.